Do I feel afraid living alone out here in the woods? I've been asked this question by a number of people I know, and I find it kind of ironic because all of them that have asked me that all live in cities or towns that are just packed full of criminals. When I researched to move out here, uh, looking up the history of this county, there is no history of any violent crime happening. Um, most of the people you talk to around here said their entire lives, they can't remember any homicide or, or anything happening. Now, does that mean it can't happen here? No, there, there are bad people everywhere. Uh, that's why I am armed 24 hours a day without exception. In addition to the people, uh, my, my, uh, may, more threat that I'm concerned with is, is dangerous animals. We do have black bears, which, you know, they're not particularly scary. A lot of times you can just yell at them and they'll run off. But there's also feral hogs. You know, they can be dangerous. I hear the coyotes singing all night long. Um, mountain lions, supposedly mountain lions aren't here, but I've talked to two separate people who've said they've actually seen uh, roadkill mountain lions. So the one guy is somebody who I've known not to really exaggerate things. He said somebody hit a, uh, hit a lion out there by his house, and when he walked out and looked at it, he said that lion had forearms that were bigger than his own. That, that's a scary kitty. Uh, there's also Bigfoot. I mean, the Washita Mountains sometimes are called the, the Squatchita Mountains. I don't think Bigfoots would probably bother me too much. As feral as I've become living out here, they'd probably take me in as one of their own. You know, te teach me the lost ways of wilderness survival. And maybe I'd take me a Sasquatch bride. Yeah, buddy, you, you know what I'm talking about. But this seems like the kind of place where a, a uh, very large omnivore could manage to survive undetected. And that's kind of part of the reason why I wanted to move to this area. Think about that. A large omnivore can survive out here. So if you're looking for somewhere to relocate to where, where you think it'd be a good place for survival, move to where the Bigfoots are. I mean, they've already done all the work for you and determined where the best places are. So go where the Bigfoots are. you got to keep in mind that out here, I am the big bad wolf in this forest. Now, I'm not saying that because... I just think I'm the baddest mother out there or anything. I'm saying it, though, because I am completely confident that I have developed the tool set, skill set, and mindset to defend myself and those I care about. If there is any danger to myself or to Brute, there will be zero hesitation, and I will respond with overwhelming violence. Now, in today's day and age of firearm ownership, even a 100-pound woman can be uh, the big bad she-wolf out in this forest if she has also developed that tool set, skill set, and mindset. I think a lot of people feel fear out in the forest because they're just unaccustomed to a lot of the sounds and things that happen out here. Like, at night, while we're sleeping, I can hear the deer walking around all around us. You know, they stay outside of the light of our initial camp and in, in out in the dark where you can't see them. So I think those sounds would really uh, unsettle a lot of people, especially when the bucks, they make a lot of snorting sounds and that. But to me, it actually comforts me in a way because deer are prey animals. So if they feel comfortable just walking around out there browsing, doing whatever deer do, then that means there's no reason for me to feel afraid. But now if I were to hear them just go bolting, you know, through the forest and snapping twigs and everything, that would probably put me on edge and I'd be wondering, well, what made them feel that way that they needed to run off? 
but I feel fine. Uh, in, in my old town I lived in, every time I stepped outside at night with Brute, it was possible that somebody can be, hi be hiding behind the bushes and attack me. But out here, eh, it's very unlikely, especially at night, anybody's going to come sneaking up here. I mean, without breaking their neck in the ravines, or if they do, they're going to make a lot of racket getting up here. But if so, I have the tools to respond to it. And that makes me feel a lot better. Uh, there's a lot of anti-gun people out there that would say, well, nobody needs to own a firearm. What they're saying is that they don't think they need to own a firearm in their living situation. But obviously, they have never spent any amount of time out in the wilderness. It's okay, Brood. It just started raining. That's okay. So, knowing what threats are out here, it would actually be irresponsible of me to be out here and not be armed. I know, puppy. All right. I'm all done.